In this video, we will see how we can add images to our user interface. So I'll go ahead and create a new Java class. And I will call my class image. And I will check the main method. So uh, my class needs to extend JFrame. And to be able to extend JFrame, I'll need to import it. Now you can use the shortcut on Eclipse. If you're on a Windows, it's Control Shift O. If you're on a Mac, it's Command Shift O. But you can also do this: import JavaX.swing.star, and this is going to import everything we need for this project. So I will start with a JFrame, and I want to call my JFrame just Frame. And I need an image because my my project is going to be simple. It's just a frame with an image inside that frame. So the image is of type image icon, and I'm going to call it image. Now I need one more component because I cannot place the image directly on the frame. I need to place it on a label and then place the label on that frame. So I will go ahead and say J label. I'm going to call mine display field. Or even display label, any name that uh, you think is appropriate, and this needs to be an uppercase L. Okay, now I need to create my constructor so public image, and this is going to initialize my uh, components. Now, keep in mind that this image is different than this image, this is a variable, and this is the constructor for the class, which is uppercase I. So my frame is going to be a new J frame and uh, I will just give it a simple title which is uh, image display test and I need to make sure that my frame is going to close when I click the X so I'll say frame dot set default close operation to J frame dot exit on close now the next thing I need to do is I need to initialize my image. You can do this directly, but I would like to put it in a try catch block because I don't want my application to crash when for some reason my image cannot be found. So I'll catch an exception. Now I'm making this general, but the exception is usually a null pointer exception. And I will print a message here that says something like image cannot be found. Okay. Now what I need to do here is I need to initialize my image and then add my image to the label. So to initialize my image I'll say image is equal to new image icon. So image icon and in parentheses I will write the following. Get class and this needs to be lowercase dot get resource and I will provide the name of the image right here like it's named on the desk now I will show you how to get this done my, my image is going to be saved right here or placed right here so what I need to do is I need to go to my finder or my to, to my uh, file explorer and then this is my project GUI images and um, in, Eclipse, in Eclipse it's two folders source containing the Java file and then you have bin containing the class file if you have both of them in the same folder then you don't have to worry about this but if you have them in separate folders then you have to look for the folder that has the class files and then you paste your image right there so my image is called image1 and if we get the info of that image it is PNG. Okay. So I need to type so it's portable network graphics image, so PNG. So I need to say image one dot PNG right here because I just posted it with that. So image one dot PNG. Okay. Now the next step is to add that image to my label, but I need to initialize my label. So display field is equal to new j label and I just need that image in there so I will just say 
containing the image. Okay. Next step is I need to add my label to my frame. So frame dot add display field and then um, finally I need just to set a size to my frame and then make it visible so frame dot set size and let me make it for now 400 by 400 and then I'll show you a better way to do this and then finally to make it to make it visible so frame dot set visible and set visible will take a, a boolean so we'll say true to make sure it's visible and then finally I need to go ahead here and create an object of my class so I will say image i is equal to new image save this and run it and then this is my image now I said I'll show you a better way to do it because actually I don't need that size I need something like this size to display my image now let's see if there is a typo in here let's suppose that I forgot to save let's save it as image one so now I will have this exception and my frame is going to be still there so let's say image one now remember that when I said I will have a better way for setting the size of the frame instead of this I can just go ahead and say frame dot back and then this is going to allow me to set the frame to contain the image and that's it so it's going to set the frame to the size needed for the components and that's it so if I run it right now it is the appropriate size of my image that I just set and this is how you can add a simple image to a user interface.